Oh, what are these birds, Kai? No idea, Zuri. But they're perfect for my new web video. Whoa, isn't that a bit too close? Don't worry. I've set the Chimer 1000 to silent mode. The birds won't even know it's there. <gasps> oh, no! Hover boots, activate. Kai, watch out! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Ah. Hi! Are you okay? Ugh. I'm fine. What about the bird? I'm not sure. We should call someone for help. Sit, hero. And fetch. Good boy. Katie, I'm sure Hero is going to win the best dog tricks video contest. But Leo, these tricks are so ordinary. Wouldn't most dogs be able to do them? <coughs> Hero isn't just any ordinary dog. He's an extraordinary dog. <coughs> oh, hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. Kai and I were following some birds, but one of them crashed into a window and fell on a ledge. Oh no, is it hurt? It keeps making these loud calls, but we're not sure why. Hmm, I've never seen this bird before. Me neither. I'll try looking for more information on my computer. Don't hang up yet, Zari. Hey, Katie, wait for me. Let's see what type of bird it is. It's a common red shank. Red shanks can easily be recognized by their long, bright orange red legs. They're migratory birds. During winter, they fly from Europe and Siberia to warmer countries in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Red shanks get nervous easily. They make sharp, high pitched calls when they feel disturbed. The red shank must be really scared after its fall. We have to get it off that ledge. We'll go over to help. Ranger out. Let's rescue that common red shank. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue. Platypus one, activate. Here we go! Guys, you made it! Jetpack, activate! Gotcha! You're safe now! It doesn't seem to be injured. Why is it still making loud calls? Maybe it's nervous. It's okay. Listen, I'll play a nice, soothing song for you. You're scaring the red shank. Oops, sorry. Maybe the red shank will feel less nervous if it has a friend. Don't worry, you're not alone. See, there's another red shank here. Maybe the red shank is a little confused and has forgotten how to fly. I can teach you how to fly. Just flap your wings like this. <laughs> Go, Red you Jack! You can do it! Go, hi, Red hi. Jack! This isn't working. Maybe we should just bring the Red Shank to the mangroves ourselves. Great idea, Katie. To the mangroves! Sorry, Hero, but you'll have to wait for us here. I hear more Red Shanks! Here you go. Greetings, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I've been recording the calls of the Red Shanks. They make excellent alarms. The Red Shank is resting on a rock, so it must be full now. There's something strange about that rock. <gasps> it's a crocodile! <gasps> the Red Shank needs help! Thanks for saving the Red Shank, Hero! Great job! Uh-oh! The other birds are still in trouble! 
Spring to Rocky. Use this to distract the crocodile. This way, crocodile. Fetch. Phew, that was close. Now all the red shanks are safe. Woohoo! It's a wrap! Mission accomplished. I'm glad we got the common red shank to the mangroves. Hero? Great job, Hero! We'll definitely win the contest now! <laughs> Hero really is extraordinary! Good job, children! You are amazing wildlife rangers! Hello, birdie. Huh? Hey, that's mine! Watch closely. Which one, hero? Whoa! How'd you know? Hero can smell the treat, Leo. Is that so? <laughs> You're a genius, Hero. Can I try it? Sure, Katie. Uh, I got this. This one? No? Then this one? This one! Are you sure, Leo? Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Hi, Leo. A bird stole my key. I can't get home without it. <laughs> what a cheeky bird. I'll look up more information about the bird on my computer. Stay on the line, Zari. Let's see what bird stole Zari's key. It's a house crow. House crows can be found in natural environments such as wooded areas and grasslands. But they also adapt well to places where humans live, like cities and towns. House crows are omnivorous. They eat a variety of food, from fruits and grains to insects and other small animals. They even search rubbish for leftover food. But I still need my key back from the crow. Don't worry, Zari. We'll be right over to help. Ranger out. Let's get Zari's key from the crow. Don't be too slow. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here we go! Sorry. Leo, Katie, my key. <laughs> Hero, be careful. Hero, Hero. jet attack, attack activate. activate. Three, two, one, pull. If chasing it doesn't work, let's lure the crow to us. I call this the yummy, tricky box. When the crow sees the food and gets closer, all we have to do is pull. And the crow will be trapped. Cool. Awesome. Go on, Crow. Don't those berries look yummy? Huh? What's it doing? It didn't fall for my trick. There goes my key. And our berries. Did someone say berries? Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? I was studying fruiting plants and wildlife in the park. What are you rangers up to? We were trying to trick a crow to get my key back. 
But it outsmarted us. How's that possible, Ranger Rocky? <laughs> oh, is that a monkey? I'll leave you rangers to it. Good luck. Thank Bye, you. Ranger Bye. Rocky. If a crow doesn't forget a face, do you think it recognizes you, Zari? Huh? Oh. Some time ago, I found an injured black baby bird and cared for it. I named it Kaw. Kaw was the smartest bird I ever met. It even knew how to play fetch. Kaw did love shiny things. Just a few more. My key! Thanks, guys! <coughs> Fetch! <laughs> Mission accomplished. I'm glad Zari got to meet her house crow friend again. <coughs> Hero? We're using a pebble this time. Cup, Hero! <laughs> hero! Pick the pebble! <laughs> hero only cares for treats! Good job, children! You are amazing wildlife rangers! So pretty! Hey, what was that? Ew! Is that... Yuck! Poop! Close one. Oh, there's a bird in there. <gasps> Are you stuck? <laughs> oh, missed. <laughs> Thanks, Hero. Ha! Looking good. Oops. Ugh. I'll definitely score this time. Whoa, Katie! That's too close, Leo. Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. Leo. A bird is stuck in a tree. We need to get it out. Huh? What bird is this? I'm not sure, but I can look it up on the computer. Stay on the line, Zari. Let's see what bird this is. Oh, it's an oriental pied hornbill. Oriental pied hornbills are black and white birds with a whitish yellow bill. Hornbills often use a hole in a tall tree as their nest. They cover up the entrance with mud and soil. The female is sealed inside to protect herself and her eggs. A small gap is left so the male can drop in food for the female and the chicks. The female breaks out when the chicks are ready to leave the nest. Oh, so it's a female hornbill in the tree and maybe her babies are in there too. Hey, where's the male hornbill? I have to find him, but I can't leave the female alone. Don't worry, Zari. We'll come over to help you. Ranger out. Let's track down the hornbill. The search is on. Ranger Leo all set. Woohoo! Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! 
Here we go! Hi, Zari. Any sign of the male hornbill yet? <sighs> Not at all. Let's split up. We'll search for the male hornbill while you guys protect the female. I hear a hornbill! It's coming from over there! That's not a hornbill. It's a crow mimicking a hornbill. <sighs> what a copycat! Uh oh. Jetpack activate! Not too close to the nest, monkey. Go on. Move away, please. Whoa! Get off! Junior Rangers. What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? Oh, I've been busy practicing bird calls. Listen to this. You sound just like a male hornbill. We're actually looking for one. Let me help. Where are you, Mr. Hornbill? I hear it! This way! It's stuck! Hang on. Easy. There you go. Is he okay? Hmm. He's injured and can't fly. We'll have to carry him back. Back to the nest, everyone! You can relax now, Mr. Hornbill. Um, why is the female Hornbill making so much noise? Maybe she's hungry. Look! Is that food? Where did he get it from? There's a baby inside. It must be hungry, too. But Mr. Hornbill is out of food and is injured. We can help him. Katie, are there any fruit trees nearby? Aha! Uh -huh. There's a fig tree nearby. I'll stay to look after the Hornbills. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Let's go get some figs. There's more than enough figs for the whole Hornbill family! Jetpack Jet activate. activate! Okay, I'm sure this is enough food for the Hornbills. are safe and their tummies are full. Look over there, Junior Rangers. Woohoo! Cool! Mission accomplished. I'm glad we managed to find the male hornbill and feed his family. Score! Score again! Wow! How did you do it, Katie? With great teamwork, of course. Good job, hero! I want to play, too! Great job, children! You are amazing wildlife rangers! 